Okay, so what I want to do here is to demonstrate how to make a recording on sound so type. Click on the plus sign and then select record audio. Click on the red or... button to start recording. And this is an interview to Juan Antonio Fernandez Marin, who was a referee, a very important referee in Spain. Um, he said that he became a referee uh, not because her father was a referee. Uh, the, he said that it not influenced uh, for her father's profession. Uh, he said that uh, was. Um, Referees, but when he was young um, in the school, uh, since he was very, very young, he liked to referee all the kind of sports, for example, basket, volleyball, and of course, football. Um, he uh, he started in the referees federation at 14 years old. Uh, she thinks that normally the people think that referees were a frustrated sports, uh, but he said that it's not true because he was a very um, good handball player. Um, the most exciting match that he refereed, he said that was a um, Real Madrid Barcelona um, in Spain. He said that. Uh, it was the first um, Real Madrid Barcelona that he refereed, and the atmosphere was very exciting and and was a very beautiful match. Um, in the other hand, uh, he think that her his worst experience was at the first of her career uh, when he was 16 years old and. He was referring a match, uh, and uh, the home team lost. Then uh, there are a lot of a lot of spectators, and the players try to hit him. He said that uh, he was um, he was. He always remember a, a mother and her baby in her hands trying to hit him. Um, uh, Juan Antonio says that there are a lot of way. There are many ways um, to to cheating at now. Cheating that in the past is. Um, I think now it's uh, better than in the past. Mm, say that there are many ways uh, to to cheat. For example, simulation. Simulation is when a player falls in the, for example, in the penalty area when nobody uh, was touching him. Uh, he say that the spectator uh, pay money for to see the match and don't like that um, the players cheating. You can pause your recording at any time and when you've finished, click on done. Choose English as the language and normally put the number of speakers as one. Give the audio recording uh, a name that you'll recognize later. and save.
So what's happening now is it's uploading the recording. Yeah. Um, it's already been uploaded and now it's being transcribed. Um, you have to wait a little bit to to see the transcription, but it'll be a minute or two. Okay, it's there already, so I think that was that was more like a minute. Okay, so what we can do first of all is change the speaker name to be Carlotta. And you'll see that it's actually changed speaker one to Carlotta in, in all the different places there, in, in all, yeah. Okay. Um, there's an icon at the bottom on the right, which is for editing. I'm going to click it now. There we are. Um, now I can start editing things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, correct anything that is obviously wrong and I mean a mistake in um, in transcription more than a mistake in English okay humble player no that's not right what she actually said was handball player Now that gives her a clue that her pronunciation of handball player is not as good as it could be. I'll just see if there's anything else. The atmosphere was very exciting. So I just go through and see if I can find anything else to correct. Um, so I think I'm going to say transcription is pretty good because I didn't notice lots of other things. So I'm now going to click on done and click on submit. There we are. Um, we've got the transcript. So now the only thing left to do is to share the transcript. I'm going to click on the share icon, which is at the top on the right. And I'm going to change the export, export format to copy text and get rid of include timestamps. Um, and then I'm going to click on confirm. So that's now copied to the clipboard, the, the, um, the complete transcript. What I want to find now is I can't see here Copilot or ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cl click on here, which says copy. And I'm going to open um, Copilot. And we're going to start a, a new conversation. So new topic. Um, I got to be very precise. I don't want the microphone. I want to use um, the keyboard. So I got to put in here. Um, can you correct my mistakes? And mark in bold all the corrections. Let's get that right. All the corrections. I, 
and then I'm going to paste here the transcript. So there we are, paste, and that's it. And I'll click on the send icon, and it's going through. And it's pretty quick. And I, I'm very pleased that it is marking all the corrections, certainly a lot of the corrections. And so it's, it's all fairly quick. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask for um, a more coherent version. Could you produce a more coherent version that is suitable for a student at B1 level in the CEFR scale? Sure, here's a simplified and more coherent version of the text. This is an interview with Juan Antonio Fernandez Marin, a well-known referee in Spain. He shared that he chose to become a referee not because his father was one, but because of his own interest. Even though he was young, he was serious about his role. He enjoyed refereeing different sports like basketball, volleyball, and especially football. He joined the Referees Federation when he was just 14 years old. He believes that people often think referees are failed athletes, but he disagrees. He was a skilled handball player himself. One of the most exciting matches he refereed was between Real Madrid and Barcelona. It was his first time refereeing this match and he found the atmosphere thrilling. However, he also had some difficult experiences. When he was 16, he refereed a match where the home team lost and the spectators and players tried to attack him. He still remembers a woman holding a baby trying to hit him. Juan Antonio also spoke about cheating in sports. He mentioned that there are many ways to cheat now, like simulation. This is when a player pretends to fall when no one has touched him. He believes that spectators who pay to watch the match don't appreciate such dishonesty from players. That was great. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. OK, so um, that's taken about 13 minutes to do that. Um, I think it, it shows what can be done. It also shows how long it takes. So we've had the whole, the whole action, recording themselves, um, editing the transcript, um, getting corrections for the transcript, and getting an improved version. Well, I hope that's useful.